I am Jamie, and this is the vlog for September 10th, 2020. It is 8.55 p.m. The kiddo is asleep. My husband's upstairs playing Ghost of Yokushima video game. Uh, I probably have that last word wrong. It's a beautiful video game. We got to I got to stay up last night and watch him play for a bit. Um, very, very cool. Um, we stayed up last night and played cribbage for a while and that was really fun. Very close game. And I think it was kind of just like what we needed. Um, like he said, he's still trying to acclimate to, um, time change and, um, family life, like being at home now. And I've noticed that both of us, when we don't know what to do, tend to need to be productive, like in any means necessary. Um, which has been actually super helpful around the house. And I think it's just like part of the processing for us is doing. So now that the kiddo's asleep, we'll try to keep this fairly brief. Um, the world is a very strange place right now. It kind of feels like the early days of COVID quarantine 2.0. Um, the air quality outside was not terrible today, but it wasn't good. And tomorrow it's supposed to be so bad they're warning people to stay in your houses. So hopefully that will only last like a day. Um, and at that point, we're going to make the call into whether whether or not we're going to try to do this uh, Leavenworth trip. We have planned next week. Kind of a good thing I didn't have clients scheduled this week because I'd be canceling everyone because working outside is just not going to work. Um, the foundation fellow, the concrete guy, came by today. Um, really cool guy. I feel like he was really giving me the straight, the straight deal, uh, regarding, um, design and things we can do and things we can't do and things he needed to refer to somebody else for, which I totally appreciate. Um, and I think we're hammering down things as far as the size of shed I need for work. I think we're going to end up getting a shed that's going to do double duty as a garage, which will also increase the value of the house. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, we're hoping to get that done as soon as we can here. I'm not sure what that means yet, but we're, we're putting it together. Um, business is a bit slow at the moment, but that's okay. Cause I intended to take some time off anyway. So it's sort of working out. Um, the kiddos really, really, really missing friends. And I think it's harder when we have to stay indoors cause her asthma just, um, makes things worse. Uh, today she was very tired most of the day yesterday very tired most of the day it might be a growth spurt it could also be um the air quality when you have slight lungs problems when the air quality drops you notice you know you kind of get super tired it could be all the excitement lots of changes going on in the house um uh the other side i don't know it's i miss being outside i miss being able to do things you know, even when we were quarantined before, luckily we, the weather was pretty much forgiving. So we got outside as much as we could. Um, so I, I miss like hiking and stuff like that, but, um, been busy just kind of hammering things down. So I wish I had more interesting things to talk about, but quarantine and being stuck at home doesn't really lead you to a lot to talk about. I did, um, I did, uh, hand out some things from the, a gear exchange group that I organized for the kiddos forest school, because when we start, first started t sending her to forest school, we were pretty broke. Um, we could afford to send her <laughs> so I could afford to work. And that was pretty much about it. Um, we quickly realized we needed more gear than we were really prepared for. So I like relied on my local buy nothing group on Facebook and they were able to keep us in gear and clothes and between that and hand me downs, it was amazing. It was such a gift. So I figured we need to try something for Magnolia just for the kids in her school. So we ended up doing that. We started a, a thing for the kids in her school and her school has grown exponentially, which means it's a lot more work. And the kids, most of the kids have just started. She doesn't start until the 18th. So the parents are starting to look for boots and underlayers and things like that, even though it's not cold enough for any of that yet. 
In fact, I think one of the schools got canceled today because of fire hazards. Uh, it's rare that outdoor school gets canceled. Fire hazards, lightning, too much wind, like when it's bringing down trees kind of wind. Um, too much ice, which makes it more dangerous for the vehicles than the kids. But that's still a thing uh, out in the Kitsap Peninsula. We get we get ice and we get snow, um, usually like in January, at least the last couple of years in January. But uh, rarely is anywhere out here prepared for it. So it's lots of traffic accidents and stuff. Um, I don't have a lot of deep, you know, comments to fill this with today. I feel like I am really actively doing a better job listening and trying to assist with this reacclimation process as much as I can without being intrusive. So that's where I stand. I am going to grab my hot tea and probably watch my husband play some more of his video game, um, which kind of reminds me of when I was a girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> as I've always had a thing for had a thing that makes it sound like it's a I don't know my relationships have always been much more meaningful to me than a thing but um it seems like I'm very much always been attracted to nerds and I say that with the utmost utmost respect because I am one I am a Disney nerd for sure um yeah so it, I've been the girl sitting on the couch watching someone play video games many times in my life. Um, and uh, I actually enjoy it. I like supporting. Um, I like being able to support. And I've always been able to get behind someone who's getting behind something, you know. And I appreciate the opposite in return. Or the same. I should say not the opposite. The same in return. Um because life is just, life has its way of tearing everyone down. I mean, from the moment we're born, we're heading to the grave. So if we're going to have friends and partners, isn't their job to make our lives a little more, a little more? We'll just leave it at that. Today was boring AF. Hopefully tomorrow will be better.